everyone welcome to another quickbooks online video in today's video we're going to be looking at how to import uh, banking or credit card information into quickbooks online and we're going to be doing this without using the bank feeds so please make sure to check out my video on bank feeds i'm going to link the description below uh, in this video but this is an alternative to using bank feeds. So it may happen that you are incapable of setting up your bank feeds because QuickBooks for some reason is incapable of recognizing your bank. So the alternative is to go into your bank and export whatever transactions you want to import into QuickBooks and then following the steps that I'm gonna be showing you in a sec, in, a, in a, just a second. So in terms of exporting your information from your bank, uh, I suggest you contact your financial institution if you're unable or are not sure how to do that yourself. I can't show you in this video because it's different for every different individual's bank account. So let's get into it. What I want to accomplish in this video is importing my Scotia Bank transaction. So if I go on my chart of accounts, which is here, I have an account called Scotia Bank, and it has zero. And so the steps are somewhat somewhat similar to uh, the bank feeds, but a little different. So we're in our bank feeds area in here, but we're gonna click this update, the downward arrow, file upload. And essentially I'm gonna be uploading this file. I'll open it up. This is the Scotia Bank information. And what this has is date, details and well outflow of money and inflow of money and it would be a good idea if you don't have headings to add headings just because it's going to cause less confusion when you're going through this process so i'm going to save it and i'm going to attach it in here i saved it on my desktop so this is the file click next and it's telling me that my file is called scotiabank.csv which is fine and it, i want to link this to a quickbooks account called well the one i showed you in my chart of accounts scotiabank Now it's doing the mapping, right? So now it's telling you that in QuickBooks Online, there's a field called date. From my Excel sheet or my CSV file, I want to map it which, with which column? Well, I want to map it with date column. So QuickBooks was smart enough to figure out that that's the column. If it was the details column, select that one, but it's really date. It's, excuse me, it's this column right description well it's the details column the description is going to be this column in orange and now amount well i don't want it it's going to be two columns right because if i had this depending on how the csv file is exported you might have your back might export your information in such a way that you see two columns, one for outflows of money and one for inflows, or you might see something like this. It's just one column, right? With positives and negatives. But that's not my case. So I'm gonna go with two columns. Money spent is my outflow. And inflow is the received. Okay. So it just brought in or recognized all these transactions. If I don't want to transfer any of these, well, I untick them, but I want to transfer all of them. So I'm going to click next. QuickBooks will import 11 transactions using the fields you chose. Do you want to import this? Yeah. And in fact, 
they are 11 transactions just to show you one 11 right i have 11 transactions here so this was done correctly i'm going to click yes next step accept your transactions so let's go ahead and click let's go okay there you go you see what happened it just added this one two three this third icon or box and it's the exact same deal like bank feeds you either add match transfer whatever the situation is so all of these are ads because I didn't record any of these transactions. Have a look at my bank feeds video to see the difference between adding, matching, transferring, and viewing. And this is essentially how uploading CSV files work. I hope you found this video useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.